The Ukrainian forces conducted counteroffensive operations on at least three sectors of the front and are continuing efforts to gradually degrade Russian manpower and logistics assets, says the Institute for the Study of War. Now let's take a closer look at one of these sectors in the area around Bakhmut in the east of Ukraine. In its latest report, the Institute for the Study of War says visual evidence confirms that Ukrainian forces have advanced southwest of Bakhmut as of the 6th of July. Ukrainian Eastern Group of Forces spokesperson Colonel Serhii Cherevati said Ukrainian troops have advanced by more than one kilometer in the last day against Russian forces near Bakhmut. While Ukrainian forces are putting pressure to advance both along the northern and the southern flanks, let's zoom in here in this specific area south of Bakhmut. Geolocated combat footage posted on the 6th of July shows Russian artillery striking a Ukrainian infantry fighting vehicle on the western outskirts of Klishivka, about five kilometers southwest of Bakhmut, indicating that Ukrainian forces have made gains here in this area. Russian mail bloggers reported that Ukrainian troops captured several forested areas west of Klishivka and are increasing pressure on Russian positions southwest of Bakhmut. Now, the settlement of Klishivka is very important in the counteroffensive in this area, as it could give Ukrainian forces control over strategically important heights and therefore more territory. Controlling the small settlement of Klishivka could help Ukraine take back Bakhmut, which was captured by Russian forces in May after more than 10 months of heavy fighting, and put even more pressure on Russia into making a difficult decision to redeploy its forces from other Ukrainian territories.